Good day everyone! I am now going to discuss about illustrating fractions, decimals, and percentage. For our learning competencies, at the end of this module, you are expected to give real-life situations to illustrate fractions, decimal, and percentage. Fraction in real life situations. Example number one. In grade 11 STEM, one eighth of the class are very good in singing. How many percent of the population are very good in singing? So one divided by eight is equal to 0 0.125. You multiply that one to 100. So that becomes 12.5%. Example 2. There are 40 students in grade 11 ABM. One-fifth of the class are very good in reporting. How many students are very good in reporting? First, convert the value of the class population who are very good in reporting fraction to decimal form. So, 1 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.2. After that 1, multiply the number of students in grade 11 ABM by the decimal value you will get from the conversion. So, 40 multiplied by 0 0.2, so that is 8. Therefore, there are 8 students in grade 11 ABM who are very good in reporting. Example number 3 Silver spent three-fourths of his savings for a new shirt. If he saved 520 pesos, how much did he spend for the t-shirt? In this statement above, Silver has saved 520 pesos. He bought a new shirt in which he spent three-fourths of his savings. So you were asked how much silver spent. First, express the fraction amount that silver spent in buying a new shirt in decimal form. So 3 divided by 4, so that is 0 0.75. Then, multiply the amount of silver's savings by the resulting decimal value you get from the conversion. So 520 multiplied by 0 0.75, so that would be 390 pesos. Therefore, Silver spent 390 pesos for his new shirt. In 2018, a school has a total of 257 graduates. There were 123 boys among the graduates. Express the number of boys who graduated in terms of fraction. First, write the number of boys who graduated in terms of fraction. Then, write the total number of graduates as a denominator of the fraction. Then simplify the resulting fraction. The answer would be 123 over 257. Let's have another example. Out of 35 students in the classroom, 27 are boys and the rest are girls. Express the number of girls as a fraction of the number of boys. First, compute for the number of girls in the classroom. So 35 minus 27, so that is 8. Write the computed number of girls as the numerator and write the given number of boys as the denominator of the fraction. 8 over 27. Is this simplified? So yes. So 8 over 27 is the answer. Decimal in real life situations. Example number 1 
Last Monday, Aiza took the online quiz in Accounting 1 and she got 13 over 15 of the questions correct. What is her score in decimal form? Number 1. Convert the score of Aiza in decimal form. So 13 divided by 15, so that is 0 0.8667. Percentage in real life situations. During the enrollment period for school year 2018 to 2019, a public school has a total of 300 enrollees. The graph shows that 34.7% of the enrollees are boys, while 65.3% are girls. What are the actual numbers of enrollees by gender? Number 1. Convert the percentage of boys enrolled in decimal form. So 34.7 divided by 100, so that would be 0 0.347. Then multiply the total number of enrollees by the resulting decimal value you get by converting the percentage of boys enrolled. So 300 multiplied by 0 0.347, so that would be 104.1. Then, round off the product to the nearest whole number value. So 104.1 is equal to 104. Now, how many are the girls enrolled in a public school? First, perform the same process you use in computing the actual number of boys enrolled. So 65.3 divided by 100, so that would be 0 0.653. Then multiply the total number of enrollees by the resulting decimal value you get by converting the percentage of girls enrolled. That would be 300 multiplied by 0 0.653, so that is 195.9. Then round off the product to the nearest whole number value, that would be 195.9, so that is approximately 196. There is also another method. Subtract the computed number of boys enrolled from the total number of enrollees. So that would be 300 minus 104. So that is 196. So the answer is 196 girls. Let's now have another example. Reka budgets his 20,000 monthly earnings as follows. Food. 50%, electricity, 28%, others, 22%. Compute how much does Rekka spend in each item in his budget. For food, convert the percentage into decimal value. So 50% is equal to 0 0.50. Multiply the monthly earnings by the resulting decimal value of his food budget. So 20,000 multiplied by 0 0.50, so that is 10,000 pesos. Therefore, Rekka's monthly food budget is 10,000 pesos. For electricity, convert the percentage into decimal value. So, 28% is equal to 0 0.28. Multiply the monthly earnings by the resulting decimal value of his electricity budget. So, 20,000 pesos multiplied by 0 0.28, that is 5,600 pesos. Therefore, Reka's monthly electricity budget is 5,600 pesos. For others, convert the percentage into decimal value. 
So, 22% that is 0.22. Multiply the monthly earnings by the resulting decimal value of his other expenses budget. So, that would be 20,000 pesos multiplied by 0.22. So, that is 4,400 pesos. Therefore, Reka's monthly budget for other expenses is 4,400 pesos. Now, here is the reference. Business Math, Quarter 1, Module 1 by Department of Education, Schools Division of Bataan. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Subscribe to Analyze Math.